This house is a testament of how great Pittsburgh is, the greatness that lived in Pittsburgh and will live in Pittsburgh, and like Sam said, the future of the greatness of Pittsburgh. My name is Janae Solomon, and I am the executive director of the National Opera House, located here in Pittsburgh. The National Opera House is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that has been organized to restore the home of the National Negro Opera Company. The main goal of the National Opera House right now is to first restore the house. So we want to make sure we have a functioning asset here in the city and then to start programming to educate people with arts and music education. So if I can summarize the history of the house, it started off as just a regular Queen Anne style mansion, and then it was purchased by Woogie Harris, who was the first African-American millionaire racketeer. And he then used the house not as his permanent residence, but basically as a place where African-Americans can gather when they had no other places to go. So people like Lena Horne and Count Basie, Roberto Clemente, Joe Lewis, they all stayed at the house. And then he rented the house to Mary Codwell Dawson, who started the Dawson School of Music, where she taught Ahmad Jamal. And then she started the National Negro Opera Company because there weren't opportunities for black opera singers. The heyday of the house was around the 1940s. And after Woogie Harris passed away, the house sat empty from 1976 until I purchased it with my friend, Miss Miriam White. And that was in 2000. We at the National Opera House have worked with the Duquesne University SBDC in several ways. First, the organization has helped us with our business plan, which was very integral in getting our funding. And Duquesne has really assisted us with our research and development and strategic planning. And we have also been helped with software life plan to help us enter our budget and make sure that we're staying within the budget that we, that, that we would do. They also helped us find solutions, potential solutions to solve those problems, which was very instrumental in getting additional funding. The overall experience for me personally and our entire team working with Duquesne University's SBDC has been phenomenal. They were very instrumental in communication. They answered questions. They did research that we were not able to do on our own. And they were very responsive to all of the changes while researching and doing a program. I would definitely recommend the Duquesne University SBDC to other nonprofits and small businesses because they're a great resource to help grow your business.